Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to print TPU on your stock CR10. What's up again, YouTube? So if you guys just watched my product review on the Solutech TPU filament, yes, I'm wearing the same shirt. It's because I'm doing these videos back to back. Okay, so the way you print TPU is hot and slow, all right? Now, this is, granted, this these settings are specifically for this Solutech. Reason being, not all TPU is created the same. If you guys watch um, Maker's Muse, I think it's up here, or is it up here? It's, it's up here. So if you guys watch Maker's Muse video about different types of TPU, they're not all gonna print at the same temperature because some of them have better elasticity some of them are more rigid like the Solutech. Some of them are more rigid. And so they're not all going to print the same way because the molecules don't interact the same way. All right. And so I, the settings I'm going to give you are specifically for this brand of filament. Okay. So I had to raise my nozzle to 230 degrees. Again, this is for a 0.6 millimeter nozzle. Okay. So it's up 230 degrees for the nozzle. I did not have a heated bed. I just put it on the tape. If you guys saw in the last video, um, it's, it was all mangled. Um, and I slowed it down a lot. I think about like 2,000 millimeters per minute, I think, is the uh, is the setting that I have. It, it, it's really slow. Normally, I when I print the forearm piece, I'll have two of them done in 40 hours. And now it's a lot a lot slower and that was at two shells a 0.2 millimeter layer height um yeah so let's go into simplify 3d so i can show you guys the settings there and then i'll show you how to print tpu all right so on to these settings the first thing i changed was the extrusion multiplier this is normally a 0.96 and i put it into one uh, make sure that your nozzle diameter and your extrusion width is um, correct. Now, I want you guys to take note of the retraction speed. Now, the retraction speed is the speed at which the filament is pulled back from the nozzle. All right. Now, this is normally at 5100, and it's I slowed it down to 1200. The reason being is if you have it too fast, it's not going to print properly. You want to have that plastic in that nozzle as much as you can, but not so much that when it moves to a different spot, you're going to have stringing. All right. So that's why I changed that really slow. Some people will actually tell you to remove retraction, but I haven't had any problems with it. So I'm going to keep it on layer. Didn't change anything there. Nothing in additions, um, nothing in infill and support. Um, I do generate support material. I don't mind cutting it off. What I do generally is when I put support material on, I just take them off where I know it really doesn't need it there. And then um, I print. All right. Uh, so temperature, here's a big one. You want that sucker to be hot, like I said. Um, so I've changed the temperature to 230. It seems to be sufficient. Um, my guess is the bigger the nozzle, the higher the temp that you'll need. So if you're printing at 0.4 millimeter uh, nozzle, um, I would just go with 230 just to be safe. Um, I didn't mess with any cooling, nothing with a G code. Um, speeds. All right. So this default printing speed for the 3D printed armor um, profile is normally at 3600. I slowed it down to 2000. Again, reason being, you want to lay this plastic down as slow as possible. It's like making ribs, low and slow. In this case, you want it high and slow, right? So that's it, you guys. That's those are the only things that are really changed on the profile. Um, when you guys finish your fiddling with it make sure you save it 
with the brand of filament that you guys are using so that you don't have to go back into it and have to do the guesswork all over again. You guys, this is so important um, because it'll save you a lot of time, frustration, and money um, on printing tests for your, for your stuff. So that's it for the settings. I'm going to go ahead and export this and I'm going to link it. Um, you guys will be able to find this profile in the 3D Printed Armor Facebook group. Um, it's going to be in the file section. So I'll see you guys there. And that's it, you guys. Um, hopefully I was able to teach you guys something. Um, if I did, please give me a thumbs up down below. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Um, here's some videos for you guys to watch. Uh, join us on our Facebook group, 3D Printed Armor. Uh, oh, make sure you subscribe right here. And uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you for watching.